Hello, my crafty friends. I'm going to work a little bit in the scavenger hunt journal. Um, I've got um, several pages worth of stuff sitting here. So we'll just see how much I get done. Um, first thing I'm going to do is use bubble wrap on this page and tone down that red a little bit. So let me find some gesso. Here we go. And I need something to put the gesso out on. Okay, we'll use this. Okay, come on. Hmm. Pause a minute. <laughs> so I can do it without getting my computer all dirty. Okay, that gesso container seemed like a good idea when I did it, but um, I don't need that big a piece of bubble wrap. But it doesn't want to cut. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of spread that out a little bit and then. I'm just going to pretty much put some all over the whole page to tone it down. Okay, it's obvious I used bubble wrap. <laughs> obvious. Now I'm going to pause for a minute and let that dry. Okay, so um, the other things I wanted to use on this page were um, money, bread bag tag, and a ruler. I've got this paper. Um, it's not a ruler, but we're going to use it like a ruler. It's going to be a ruler. And this is a bread bag, and I'm going to make a tag out of it. Therefore, we're going to have a bread bag tag. So that's my interpretation of this prompt. <laughs> um, and I'm tempted to use the bottom. Oh. We'll think on that. Okay. I'm going to um, glue my ruler down right inside this tag. Except I'm going to leave a little bit of it up so I can fold it over and make the tab part. Okay. Now that I'm going to have to raise this up. And I um, hope I get that in the middle. Okay, that's probably not going to be terribly easy. Let's try it with the glue stick. Okay. Just gonna fold that over like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the sides.
I don't buy bread. <laughs> and the bread bag tags, I mean, the bread bag closures on the bread in our store generally is, um, they're the little twisty ties. Sometimes they're those white plastic things, but I just don't have any. But my son bought some, a baguette, and it was in this, and I decided I could make a tag out of it. And technically, it would be a bread bag tag. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. Okay, we'll glue that down. And just so everyone will know it's a tag, Without any doubts, we're going to cut it into a tag shape. There we go. I may have to re-glue now. No, it's all right. Okay, so there's my tag, my bread bag tag. And um, I'm going to use this. Um, it said real or pretend. This is not real or pretend. It's a copy of real money that my... Um, that I just, I got a chance to have some copies of it. I thought it'd be pretty in collage. But I'm just going to take a piece of this and I'm going to make it into a pocket to put my tag in. So, um, it's definitely not real. But I didn't have any Monopoly money. And I didn't want to put real money in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to glue this onto... I meant to put some of this inside this to make it stiffer. But I forgot. So it's just going to be a little bit of a flimsy tag. But I'm going to definitely make the pocket stiffer by gluing this down onto this. That'll make a pretty pocket. And we're going to just put this right here and put that tag in it. I think it'll be good. Oops.
Okay. Let's go to the back and write down page number two on all of those things. Okay. Um, bread bag tag, page two. Ruler, page two, and where's money? Oh, wait, I just okay. money, page two, and bubble wrap. Uh, bubble wrap page two okay then next I'm going to do flowers and a playing card because I think those will look nice together so we need to find a page whether they will look nice <laughs> Um, this might be a good one Let's keep looking though. Okay, this is an envelope. Ooh. No, I'm going to do this side because I'm going to make it a pocket and I'm going to stick the playing card in it. So. Not sure if I, how many of these flowers I want to. We'll just go ahead and cut this one. I can always take it off, but I can't add it back. Okay, that will fit nicely. Now I've got two choices. I can either glue this together so it's stiffer and then um, glue this down and stick that in behind it like that. Hmm. think I want to take this flower out. Like that. And then I can um, I can put the playing card in like this. That'll be good. And I am going to just glue this down in here so that this can be a um, just a stronger piece of paper. Okay. And I'm just going to leave this white because I think it looks pretty with the flowers. Okay. All right, I'm going to glue it all the way around and make it a pocket, not a tuck spot. That way that card will stay in. I'm afraid if I just made it a tuck spot, that card would not stay put.
And I can just slide the playing card in like that. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's write those down on page 11. Okay, flowers, page 11. Jigsaw puggle piece, puggle, puzzle piece or playing card, page 11. All right, and I've got one more page I want to do. Um, and this is using the child's um, book page. And this is a very heavy book page. Um, so it's going to, it's going to need, maybe I'll put it on here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get my cutter for this because that's not going to be easy to cut. Okay. Let's move this over. We just want this guy. We don't need the tree. I mean, all of the tree anyway. Okay. And then... Right at the cat's tail. Isn't that handy? We can get the whole cat in there and then that's it. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little shorter so we can see our number. Okay, a little more. Put that number kind of low. All right, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and round off this corner since it's pretty much right at the edge there. I think that'll look good. Okay, so we've got that. And let's go ahead and glue that in. Let's, um, let's ink it. Why not? <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and do this corner too, just, just because it seems weird to do the bottom and not the top, even though it's not going all the way up to the top. Okay. We're going to glue that in. Sorry. leave just a slight border because I think it'll look nice. Okay, and then I got Baby Yoda here and we're going to put him on the page. We're going to cover up the squirrel with Baby Yoda so he can be enjoying the little boy blowing bubbles. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. And so, um, I um, can't, can't find either one of those. <laughs> I 
Oh, I hate it when that happens. There's Baby Yoda. Oh, what page was that? 46. 46. And then page out of a child's book. Where is that? There it is. 46. All right. We're working our way through them. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're having fun with the scavenger hunt. I sure am. God bless you. Bye-bye.